Go developing oil. Okay. Um, so what I've done here is uh, loaded the um, assembly file as you know was given to you on Blackboard. I've turned off all the rivets because they're kind of uh, not really needed to do the fine element model. We will talk about using those at, at some point in time, but we don't really need the geometry to do that because we'll model those basically just as like spot welds or as beam elements, okay? Uh, we're not gonna mesh the fasteners. Okay, so here's the geometry we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna export it as an IGES file. That way we can read in the IGES file into HyperMesh and we should be able to do all the cleanup and meshing in HyperMesh from there, okay? So to do that, we're gonna do export, and we're gonna select IGES, and uh, I know the fonts are a little small to see on the video, I'm not sure how to make them too much bigger, but unfortunately that is what it is, but uh, you don't really have to change anything in the IGES options except other than to pick the file you know where you want the destination file to be so I'm gonna save it in the same directory uh, there actually was one there already it should overwrite it but once you do that it will uh, start the processing there it goes now it's it's written it out all right and if we look at uh, the directory where everything is you can see now there isn't just file that's where I saved it this is what I'm gonna load up in hypermesh okay I don't really need uh, NX anymore so I'll just minimize it I could probably close it down and now we'll start hypermesh so when you start hypermesh this is what you get right um, well let's make a new one so you can see so file new oh, okay well when you start it you'll probably get a window that looks like this you'll have this user profile window pop up. And as I mentioned in class, this is what allows you to select what fine element software you're gonna pre-process for. Uh, for this project, you can do either NASTRAN or OptiStruct. I'm gonna select OptiStruct. They're basically the same, uh, but OptiStruct runs right inside of HyperMesh, so it makes it a little, it's one less step of exporting, so I'm gonna do OptiStruct, okay? And now we're gonna import in the file so to do that, you're going to import geometry. So you can either do that under File, Import, Geometry. Or you can pick this little icon here. This is like the Import pull-down icon, and there's an Import Geometry. And then you'll get this window here. It's on the left side. Okay. Uh, you can change the file type to be IGES, or the auto detects you get it as well. And then use this little folder to select the file that you want to import. And there it is, okay? There's actually some import options as well if you want. You can do a scale factor like if it's in millimeters and you want to scale it to inches, but, but we're in inches, we're gonna do our analysis in inches, so we don't really need to scale anything, and we can just do import. And now this is gonna bring in the IGES geometry into the file, and there it is. You can see it looks like a bunch of lines, but that's just really the shading phenomena, so actually if I change the shading to you know shade the geometry you can see here that it, it actually brought those in as I believe as solids okay sometimes it does a service but I believe those should be solids actually you can see unfortunately I, I think it exported the rivets as well okay right there they are uh, if you look at the model you can see there's components for all it made a layer for each one of the geometries that was imported. So actually, if I wanted to get rid of the rivets, I can go here to model and then expand the components and then just pick all the rivets and delete them if I want to. Sure you want to delete them? Yep. Well, there's still a couple more here. Delete. And there we go. Now we're just left with the main components, okay? All right, and I believe they're solids. Uh, we can just check if you go under tools. I think I can do a count. Count, geometry, we can 
probably set it to be solids, solids, and then all. And yeah, you can see there's 11 solids in the model. So those are probably the one, two, three, four, you know, the 11 components that are there. Okay, so it brought them in as solids. Okay. Um, there you go. So the geometry is there. I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save as and put it in the wing. And I'm going to call it wing model one because I probably will have different models. So I usually put a number onto them, the hypermesh, and save it. Okay. So that's the first step. So we've successfully brought in the geometry from the CAD file into Hypermesh. The next video, I'm gonna talk about how we go about um, generating the mid-plane surfaces and starting to actually mesh those mid-plane surfaces, the shell elements for the model, okay?